Welcome back to GRE Unleashed. Today we have Joe Rogan and Andrew Huberman talking about how we don't understand sunlight and testosterone. They discuss how we don't fully understand how sunlight affects testosterone levels. Some studies have shown that exposure to sunlight can increase testosterone levels, while others have shown no effect or even a decrease in testosterone levels. There are a number of factors that could contribute to these contradictory findings, including the intensity of the sunlight, the time of day, and the individual's genetics. Let's get right into the interview with Joe Rogan and Andrew Huberman. Don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe to the channel to be updated on all our future content. Thanks, and enjoy the video. Sunlight, and then there's a bunch of other biochemical steps in melanin. So there's this beautiful relationship between light, dopamine, testosterone, mating, hair color, right, and temperature, because in long days, generally it's warmer than in short days where it's cooler. So light and temperature are kind of pushing on a bunch of physiological mechanisms to make some animals want to breed at particular times of year. Wow. And the break on breeding is what we talked about earlier is melatonin. When there's very little light, you get a lot more melatonin and it shuts down dopamine. It shuts down breeding. It shuts. So melatonin, you want it a little bit, but you don't want too much of it. And when you're saying that light makes the brain re produce dopamine. I wonder if there's long periods of rain and a lack of light, if then once you hit sunlight, you have more dopamine. Oh yeah. Is Look, that what it is? This is, if, I mean, if you go to Scandinavia, I have a, a relative, my, my stepmom is uh, Danish. You go to Scandinavia, you go to Denmark in the winter and everyone is, some people are resilient too, but most people are a little bit, I'm not gonna say clinically depressed, but everything is depressed. Like it's Seattle. darker, it's darker. People put their head down, it's cold. Days are extremely short. The spring hits and literally people start going, or at least they did when I was in college, you know, like women and men start going topless in the sun in the parks. People are definitely mating a lot more than they are in the winter months even though they're drinking more alcohol in the winter months, for sure, they're mating a lot more, people get spring fever. Mm. The spring fever has a biological basis. And near the equator, like the Brazilians, they're like that all year long. I'm right. I, was, I have a lot of Brazilian friends, so I realized. One possibility is that sunlight affects testosterone levels by increasing the production of nitric oxide in the body. Nitric oxide is a signaling molecule that has a number of effects, including increasing blood flow and muscle growth. Studies have shown that exposure to sunlight can increase nitric oxide levels, and this could lead to an increase in testosterone production. Another possibility is that sunlight affects testosterone levels by suppressing the production of cortisol. Cortisol is a stress hormone that can suppress testosterone production. Studies have shown that exposure to sunlight can reduce cortisol levels, and this could lead to an increase in testosterone production. Yeah, I do as well. Um, I was thinking that about this because I went to uh, Prince of Wales Island, which is, I think, the rainiest spot in North America. And it's, it's, we were there for a week. It was crazy how much it rained. It rained every single day, except for a few hours. We were able to start a campfire one day. Um, when I came back, I came back to L.A., and, of course, it was sunny because it's always sunny in L.A. And I called my friend up. I go, dude, I don't know what's going on, but I've never been happier in my life. Exactly. I am so That's a dopamine happy. surge. Yeah, it was a surge. Like, I was on a crazy drug. I'm like, if you could keep this high all the time, like, what a wonderful world it would be. <laughs> Well, there's another hormone that's super cool that actually <laughs> that people are now abusing, unfortunately, which is called um, a melanocyte stimulating hormone. A melanocyte is a is a is a kind of cell basically that creates pigmentation in the body, makes you go tan. And melanocyte stimulating hormone is in the pituitary. And when you get sunlight, you release this melanocyte stimulating hormone. It makes your skin tan from the, it actually causes pigmentation, not by tanning because it burned your skin a little bit, browning you. You're actually, the melanocytes are, are darkening your skin from the inside. Does it protect inside. you from the sun as it well? It does. It does. So you can take this melanocyte, well, achieve a tan? Well, so melanocyte stimulating hormone does two things. It, it causes pigmentation and it reduces appetite. So who are the two people? Uh, What's the one group on this planet of people that want to be tan and reduce their appetite? Hoes. Bodybuilders. <laughs> <laughs> um, that's what I was thinking. Yeah. Overall, the research on the effects of sunlight on testosterone levels is still inconclusive. More research is needed to fully understand how sunlight affects testosterone levels and how these effects might vary depending on individual factors. In addition to the effects of sunlight on testosterone levels, there are a number of other factors that can affect testosterone levels, including diet, exercise, and sleep. If you are concerned about your testosterone levels, it is important to talk to your doctor. They can help you assess your testosterone levels and determine if there are any underlying medical conditions that might be contributing to low testosterone levels. 
They can also recommend lifestyle changes that might help to improve your testosterone levels. Make sure to check out the full episode with Joe Rogan and Andrew Huberman by heading over to Spotify. Don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe to the channel to be updated on all our future content. Thanks, and we'll see you in the next video.